Hey everyone, my name is Nolan. Welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D Top 20 video. I know this one's kind of late, um, however, it is just kind of difficult to find time. Anyways, we're going to be jumping into the top 20 primaries for Pixel Gun 3D, and a huge disclaimer I want to get out of the way. So basically, I tried writing a program that does all these calculations for me um, based on a wide variety of data. However, when actually trying to calculate important factors like damage per second, I found out it's actually impossible because each weapon each has a different fire rate or damage based on what's actually given in the game. So I would have to manually go through uh, 1200 plus weapons to calculate all that and uh, basically that would just take months. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is when I make these lists just know I literally have nothing else to go off of but just raw gameplay uh, All the numbers are like impossible to figure out unless you have no life whatsoever, which unfortunately I do <laughs> So basically just keep that in mind when making these videos or when I make these videos a lot of these weapons on this list are like Extremely close calls and can be switched around. Okay, so don't rage at me for like putting one weapon above the other and for more pixel gun videos do not forget to subscribe and also it would just mean a lot if you guys used my web store link to make in-game purchases down in the description i think right now you might be able to get like two times currency um and then on top of that you get to get some of that currency for the uh trading event uh so yeah it just really mean a lot okay that's enough intro let's get into the video so for two honorable mentions uh i'm actually basically just extending the list down to top 22. The only reason they aren't on the list is because it's like a top 20 and not a top 22. So the first one's gonna be Acid Shotgun. This weapon is decent. It's not really the best for doing damage or getting kills, but what's really nice about this weapon is that you can get it with coupons and it also has no delay whatsoever. So a lot of people like to use this for three cat. But again, its damage is not that great. It's around 82. Um, and then if you hit a headshot, it's 114. So it's, it's decent but not that great. Potato Implant is also pretty good. Um, however, like I said, I just feel like every weapon on the list is better than Potato Implant, even though, yes, it is a good weapon. You can get good gameplay with it. It's very circumstantial and kind of difficult to use. All right, moving on to the actual list. Number 20 is going to be Royal Fighter. Uh, low key, I think that this, apart from web one weapon, actually has the lowest DPS on the list. Um, so its DPS is 175 to 242, depending on headshots and stuff like that. Again, this damage is just from the wiki. I don't know how they calculate it, but they calculate it. <laughs> um, but based on performance, this weapon was actually pretty dang good. It has slowness and a pretty high fire rate, so getting kills is quite easy. And you can get this weapon for coupons in the gallery. Number 19 is going to be Weighty Evidence. I know you guys might be kind of disappointed to see this weapon solo. However, with its fixed delay, it's not really ideal for 3-cat, which is what you would want to use use it for uh, because it only has two ammo so you can't spam with it so even though it does have a pretty decently high damage coming in at 145 it's just not that great for a lot of circumstances but you still can get good gameplay with it ice chaser is going to be number 18 clocking in at 181 dps there i go with the clocking in again i don't know why i said that this weapon has that cursed attribute allowing you to do a lot of damage to people um again i don't know how they calculate the 181 dps because it has that cursed attribute you're just going to be doing more damage than you think you would be doing nato shotgun is basically weighty evidence but better it has 161 body damage and 225 headshot damage, meaning you're basically just going to be getting uh, more one shots, which is what you want with a weapon that has two ammo. Uh, so that's why I put it a bit higher. However, again, the fact that it has fixed delay and only two ammo makes it kind of hard to use. It would be good for spamming, but only if you have the kinetic module combination. Neutron Pulsator is pretty dang good, but if nothing else, it is just super fun to use. It has a 100 mobility, which makes it actually pretty useful, but it also has an extremely high fire rate. It sounds super cool. It looks cool. It has x-ray, so it's useful, and it has a pretty decently high damage per second at 162, which is actually lower than Royal Fighter. Actually, it's 162 to 230, um, depending on if you hit headshots or body shots. So it is still pretty good and i actually have a lot of fun when using this weapon number 15 is going to be honored golden friend coming in at 183 dps 
um, and that's just like the minimum. Uh, since there's critical damage, uh, the damage will be pretty inconsistent. However, what I found was I was still able to get kills pretty dang fast. Now, this one may surprise you guys, but Poisonous Vine is going to be number 14. This weapon had a pretty substantial buff recently, and the wiki says its damage per second is only 143. However, when I use this weapon, this weapon was outperforming pretty much all the weapons I've mentioned already, and like I said, I'm basing this list on performance, and I gotta say, this weapon is actually pretty dang good. I wanna say that it only has a DPS of 143 because of its slower fire rate, um, but still, it just does a ton of damage, and I'm able to get kills pretty easily with it, so... I don't know. Number 13 is going to be AK556. Now, I've never really liked this weapon, but I can't really I can't really just ignore the fact that it's it's good. It has a base DPS of 183. However, or no, 189, sorry. However, that can like scale up so dramatically because it has the rage, which basically means the damage will increase with every kill. So, I believe its max DPS is 356. Now, the thing about that is that sounds super good. However, in Pixel Gun, you don't really get there too often. So you want to go with the lower number to uh, make sure you're maximizing like how good you think this weapon is going to be um, So even though yes, it is still pretty good for getting kills It's not as good as people claim it is on top of that. It has bloom So hitting shots is actually kind of difficult number 12 is gonna be Sleipner coming in at 197 DPS I swear this weapon was nerfed. I don't know. It does hit critical though So it can probably do way more damage than that and I gotta say I think it does this thing is actually insane it's super good you can get it for 1000 coupons um but i think i'm gonna yeah i'm definitely gonna go over some better coupons weapons so just stick around because the weapons are just gonna get better and better number 11 is gonna be gun force pgx and i think this might have the highest dps on the list coming in at 241 dps uh however this weapon has super punch which can alter the dps and it can hit headshot damage which can alter the dps so it's very very circumstantial and just another thing that can add to this circumstantiality is that a is that a word did i just come up with a new word i, I don't even know uh but basically it has travel time so you really have to like decide where and when you want to use this weapon because like if you were to use this on heaven garden you probably wouldn't really get good gameplay Number 10 is going to be 3 Barrels Cannon. I think that this shotgun is actually still pretty good. Uh, when I use this weapon, the only time I actually 3-shot somebody was when I was weakened or they had a shield on. So, I was 2-shotting all the time, which for a weapon with this fire rate is actually pretty good. Uh, so, I just feel like even though the base damage is 109 and headshot is 153, you still can get pretty dang good gameplay, especially because it has that critical attribute. Number 9 is going to be Viking. Uh, just an all-around, well-rounded shotgun that you can get for coupons. Its base damage is 121, headshot 169. It doesn't have fixed delay. I think it's literally the only uh, one of three, actually, shotguns that on this list that don't have fixed delay we'll get into the other two later uh so basically it's pretty good for three cat and so a lot of people look for a good shotgun for three cat and really actually this is the only one you can get uh all year round golden bros is going to be number eight coming in at 201 dps we're finally breaking that 200 mark as far as dps goes and golden bros is just super good um it's also pretty good if you want to do like monster raids or clan raids, clan raids with friends because it increases players damage which is pretty good um so this weapon is basically just super good for getting kills um it's pretty easy to use so yeah golden friends gonna be number seven clocking in at 202 to 282 damage per second yeah this thing is actually insanely good for getting kills you can get it with coupons right now i I would actually highly recommend it it's one of my favorite weapons in the game and yeah it's just great stormtrooper exoskeleton is basically golden friend but with lower damage um and slows the target and more capacity so basically in my opinion it is a little bit more useful and just better than golden friend even though it has less damage rune buster is coming in at number five just because this shotgun it does an insane amount of damage its base damage is 151 and headshot is 212 so in theory you actually could one shot with this weapon quite frequently um it does have fixed delay though so you are going to want to use this for spamming uh and it is still good for spamming so that's why it's number five number four is going to be bad comment coming in at 211 damage per second this thing is insane it had a very substantial buff recently and it just makes this weapon so so good 
I always said that this weapon was already good. I think it was previously on my top 20 primaries lists, uh, just a bit lower. But now it's just super good and needs to be super high because it's it's good. Number three is going to be ultimatum. I, I don't know how I feel about putting this this high. However, like I said, just based on performance, I don't know. I guess my opinions change and now it's a little bit higher than usual. Number three, though, I feel like that's okay. Ultimatum, even though it is decently overrated, it is still good. Especially, like, I'm using X mods in the background and it one shot, like, every single time. So, yeah, I hate this weapon. Now, this weapon might shock you guys coming in at number two. But I feel like number two needs to be leader's best friend. And hear me out, even though it's base damage per second is 151, because of the fact that it hits increased damage to headshots, its DPS can get all the way up to 265, which is pretty good. And if you top that with the fact that it has the barrier buff, which reduces enemies damage to you, you can actually translate that to more damage per second because players will have a harder time killing you, which just makes it easier to kill other players. And it also has weakening, so it is even harder for players to kill you. Basically, if you go in a 1v1 using this weapon, you're gonna win. It's just super good. Um, even in deathmatch and teamfight, I use this weapon all the time just because it's fun to use and no one really expects it because its DPS is lower, but still it outperforms all the other weapons just because its attributes are insanely good. Speaking of things that are insanely good, like quite literally insane, yeah, I'm sure you guys all saw this coming, but number one has to be Deadly Icicle. Um, all I need to tell you guys is that its base damage is 190. From there, I think you can figure out just how overpowered this shotgun is. Just in case you don't know, Deadly Icicle came out like a couple months ago or one or two months ago. I lose track of time in college. Uh, but basically, its damage on release was like 140 or 150. And the developers decided to like... I don't know, take a mushroom or something and increase the damage per second or the base damage to 100 and freaking 90. That is like, it, it's not even a competition. This is just the best weapon in the game. And I say that because it's a shotgun, which makes it really easy to hit enemies. And it has weakening, meaning that it makes it even harder for players to kill you. So if you use this weapon, it, it's just so hard. And they also introduced it for free. So pretty much everyone and their mother has this weapon. And it just makes deathmatch unplayable. <laughs> it's this weapon is literally game breaking. It, it it literally I don't play deathmatch anymore because of this weapon. Because of this weapon. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up the video there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video or maybe found it helpful. Um, I actually make these videos more of like as a guide to you guys, as like what you guys should be getting. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, smash like, subscribe, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.